Hello guys, welcome to Eccentric Videos. In this video, we will cover how to create graphs and pie charts, conditional formatting, creating hyperlink, adding simple micro and excel add-ins. Using this sample sheet, I will explain to you all the concepts that I was talking about. Here we will learn how to create graphs, how to create the pie charts, how to add an excel add-in, how to create particular hyperlinks and how to insert simple macros. First, we will start with how to create a simple graph. First, select a table from which you want to create a graph. Once you have selected a table, you have to go to insert and then in the charts, in any chart, you can select any chart from which you have to create a sample chart. Like you can select a bar graph or else which I have earlier used, you can use this one in which you can see uh, this is the level which is currently uh, the budgeted expenses and these are the actual expenses that need to be done. You can also edit the effects of these. You can you can uh, you can create different charts using the same data, having a different effects. So this is how you create a graph. And then to create a pie chart, you have to select particular table columns which from which you have to create a pie chart. In this, you can see a particular button. On using this, you have to go to charts, and in pie charts, you can get the pie chart. You can also select various effects that if you want to add to your charts using this one. The same is done for all the rest of the data and this, these are the samples that we have got. Now let me show you how I have done this conditional formatting. First let me remove this conditional formatting. Now you can select the data go to conditional formatting in the home tab highlight the cells when it is greater than 0 you can give it green color and also one which is less than 0 you can give it a red color and also you can add various icons in this way now let me show you how I created a hyperlink such as when I click on Kolkata, it goes to the Kolkata sheet. So in this way, let us create a hyperlink for Delhi, in which you have to have a sample text. On that text, right click, uh, there is a hyperlink. In that hyperlink, you can select a place in this document, which can be where I want to go to Delhi. So once I select the Delhi sheet and I click OK, and now the hyperlink is created. Now once you click on Delhi, the delete sheet is open. Now let us see how to create a simple macro such that once click on this insert detail button, I go to the master sheet. So how to create that? First you need a developer tab to create such a script. So you have to customize the ribbon. In that ribbon there is a developer. You have to select that and click on OK. Then you start seeing a developer tab in the main menu. In that you have to create, you have to start recording a macro. So give any name like X, Y, Z and click on OK. It started recording. So now just you go on to master sheet and click on stop recording. So this is a sample macro that you have created. Now how to assign it to a particular button. First you insert a button. Say this. In that we have to assign macro. So what macro we have created, this is X, Y, Z. So you click on OK. The, the button is assigned with the particular macro. Once you click on this button now, edit number like X, Y, Z. So you can edit the text. Now the button is created. Once you click on this button, it will go to the master sheet as expected. Now let me show you how to create an interactive bubble chart like this. For this you have to download an add-in from the developer tab. Once you click on this add-in, you can go to the store. In this store you have to search for an add-in called as bubbles. Just add this. Once it is added, it tells you to select a table and then click on OK. 
So bubble chart is created. Hence in this video we have covered how to create a graphs and pie charts, conditional formatting, creating hyperlink, adding simple macros and excel add-ins. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you.